hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me today as always my name is Lua Femi Busaya Rueda and I'm your host here on Thought Express Rueda thank you for joining me last week and more thanks for joining me even today so today I'll be sharing with you a debate I was having with some of my friends weeks ago and it was a conversation on what defines a person's success is it your environment or your mindset and um, before I proceed I'll just quickly like to tell you what success means personally I think that success is finding your true purpose finding the reason you were created and achieving it for me that's success it doesn't really have to do with how much money you have in your bank account how many houses you have how many cars you ride or you know those material things it just really is um, the positive positive impact you've been able to spread to I mean the people you were created to reach out to basically yeah so um one of my friends was saying that he believed that success is achieved by the kind of environment you you find yourself in and by environment he meant place like location and by environment also it means by people i mean potentials who are the kind of people you are surrounded with and the kind of people you are surrounded with um could actually be um could, could actually be positive or negative based on the kind of environment you find yourself in what he was trying to say is that for example if you live if you live in the eyebrow areas where you find people who are really 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 rich you know wealthy people you know you obviously be wealthy you obviously be successful that's what he thinks yes that's according to him and then uh, my other friend was saying that no you can't really say that and then i asked the question that okay are you saying that people who do not live in these areas do not succeed are you saying that people who do not live in this in those areas cannot make anything good out of their lives and it was like he doesn't really know but he's just saying that you are a product of your environment and then your success can be based on your environment so for for him as a person he's going to really work hard so that he will be able to give his um children a very good life they'll be able to find themselves in very good environments where they can mingle with people for where they can mingle with children from you know other well to do homes and all of that so that their future can be guaranteed yeah but there was a particular time i was watching um from show Alakija's video where she said that she was addressing um graduates at the Covenant University it was on their convocation and she was saying that a rich man's um son or daughter might necessarily not be rich at the end of the day because um you have everything yes you can get everything yes but what do you make with all the available resources that you have can you sustain them can you multiply them to be a continuous thing if no then coming from a rich home being a child of a rich person can actually might actually not you know make you successful and it's actually sensing that so moving on um my other friend because i was just <laughs> i was just you know listening to them they were both making sense but um, i decided to like bring it here to you know give you the chance to decide what I, what exactly you think makes a person successful is it the environment or the mindset so my other friend was saying that um you know the mindset is a very very strong tool what what, what is mindset your mindset is like is an environment also but it's not physical it's not like a place it's not like a location where you can see the mindset is you know is is in built it's is a is an environment where you feed feed on so it's either you feel on negative negativities or you feel on positive things so when you feel on if you have a positive mindset it means that she according to why yeah it means that um or whether or not you are living in motion whether or not you are living in Oshodi, whether or not you are living in um um bariga yes i'm going to succeed i'm going to make it it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter you know what surrounds me it doesn't matter who, the people who are around me it doesn't matter the, the 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 building where i live in what matters most is my mindset my readiness to actually you know break forth you understand and so she was saying that if you think negative it means that 
you probably just think that you cannot make it probably just think that you've just developed your mind into making it so if you live in bariga or uh, mushing or shodi and you, you say you know, all those places where you know people just people just look down on people that live there yes you just think that oh no well if i find myself here already and what's left i can't make it for her. I, I can't make it already people around me they don't even have a life they don't have a vision they don't have purpose they don't have this for they don't have that now it is it is it is it is your fault yes i'm trying to i, I can't really put everything she said in word for word but i'm just trying to like summarize give you the key points that she said so i mean she said that it is your fault what does it actually mean that there are people who are not poor in those areas now i always say that you know the nigerian mentality or maybe the Lagosian mentality for everyone who lives in lagos the mentality that they have about island is the h i g h the i and the land whereas island is just i f l a n d which, which means that it's a place that is surrounded by water it actually does not mean that there are people who are not poor there for crying out loud there are 1000 and 1000 and 1000 and 1000 people who are there with no purpose, with no vision, with no aim, with no dreams. Why? Because they don't they don't just think of themselves as people who can actually succeed, people who can make it. They are living beside or they are living with people who are actually wealthy, with people who have it all. But you still see them, you know, doing menial jobs. You don't even see them take up any course. You don't see them, you know, say, I want to go to school because they probably think they are too old. They probably think um, they don't have the means they probably think they don't have the money they probably just think that oh nothing can be done but they live on the island they live with people who are really really wealthy do you understand i'm, I'm not saying that um it's, it's, a, it's a, i'm not saying the matter of your mindset neither am i saying the matter of your environment but i'm just you know putting into you that what exactly do you think is it really a matter of your environment is it really a matter of your mindset like my friend said she said that a mindset is a very very strong tool like I just say that well if you say it based on, on your environment it just might mean that if you need something like okay let's say you live in a koyi or you live in one of those you know eyebrow areas and you need um a camera or you need a particular tool or you need an amount of money to start a business or to just start something start you know what you really want to do you get it at the tip of your of your fingers because you have influential people around you you have people who can give it to you you have people who are rich people who are ready to help you then on the other hand someone who stays in other areas and not so mm, they're not all that needs the same thing the person might just need to walk you know so the working is actually the difference you you that you have you live in a very good environment you have everything at the tip of your finger you get it immediately but that other person just has to work do the extra thing you know takes a whole lot of time it doesn't actually mean that the person is not going to get there why what what's what's that thing what's that force that makes that person go the extra mile? is the person's mindset that mindset is okay i live in mushin okay i live in Oshodi. i live in bariga these places cannot stop me these are just locations these are four walls these are places this is the mindset people have about, about this place it doesn't mean that people that are there are dead it doesn't mean that they don't have a, a dream it doesn't mean that they don't have values it don't, doesn't mean that they don't have purpose do you understand so i mean it, it, it is interwoven for me it is interwoven the environment your mindset if you're lucky enough you find a, you find yourself in a very good environment good if you do not your mindset is there to help you is there to assist you what you feed on on your on, on in your mind is actually your driving force like my friend said but if you think that oh i mean the mindset is everything you think that oh environment is everything and that's why i need to make sure that you know my children um, find themselves in very good environment so that people around them can be rich people around them can you know help them to get to their level and all that well you know we are different people and we have different and diverse opinions towards life but don't forget i can't wait to hear from you what are your opinions on this what are your thoughts is it your mindset and your environment that makes you a successful person please don't forget to drop a comment my name is olua femi desire thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time i really do appreciate you so guys bye guys